Hello everybody, my name is Shanko and welcome to the Minecraft Survival Series for the very first time in 1.20. That is right, the Trails and Tales update is finally here and we are about to get on with quite the adventure with this update. I hope you've been well. Well, we are currently here right in front of the Great Lake in our Season 1 area and look at how beautiful this area still looks. Ooh, it looks amazing. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently now on 1.20. The Trails and Tales update has a bunch of mysteries and adventures to go on, and we are about to go on that adventure real soon. So if you don't know, Trails and Tales actually added a whole lot of content to Minecraft. We now have bamboo as a wood, we have cherry blossoms, we have armor trims, we also have some strange ruins that we can find elsewhere, and we also have camels and sniffers. And so in this video, we're going to try and experience all of what 1.20 has to offer and see how it could benefit us in the survival world. I'm pretty excited. But before all that, I don't think we are quite ready to go on an adventure. I don't think we have the right attire for an adventurer going out there to discover ancient ruins and stuff. Give me a second while I do a very quick wardrobe change. Alright? Alright, let's see where our change is. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it still fits like a glove. Ooh, it still looks pretty good. I still look pretty good, don't I? Alright, I guess that's all I need to do. And check me out. Ooh, I look good, don't I? The jacket and the inner shirt, I got the boots on. We are so ready for adventure. Now before any of that, we're gonna have to prepare now I just remembered, there is one more tool that we need to create for this update. Do we have... We gotta have one somewhere about here. I guess not. Okay, it turns out we don't, so let's just go to a nearby plains. And spot out a... There you are. A chicken. Quick. We can put the raw chicken back here because we need this feather. Now with this feather, I can combine it with a copper ingot. And there you go, new recipe unlocked. And that is a very special recipe because that would allow us to make a brush. So I know this is not necessary, but why not, right? And so now we have an enchanted brush. Why? Because why not? All right, kitties, I'm going to be off for adventure. I'll see you guys in a bit real soon. All right? Love you too. Mwah, mwah. Now, before any of that, we do also want to collect a bit of wool. And so we have our wool farm right over there. I think we'll choose some yellow. That would be great. The last thing we need here, a book. And why not we take this? This adventurer's journal. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Right, so we have everything that we need to go on an adventure. I guess all we gotta do is wake up the next morning and it's adventure time. The rain has stopped, the sun is shining over the horizon, and so it's now time for us to say, let's get this adventure started. Let's go. Woohoo! Now I just want to check one more thing real quick. We are back in the ancient city that we raided in episode 3 of the Minecraft survival series. Now we have these few chests down here. Now I'm pretty sure we already looted these chests, but do they change when we change into the new update? Okay, they don't. Alright, good to know. But I guess we'll clean them out, I guess. Since we're here, we might as well go through and then clean out the chests. So I don't think there's going to be much in terms of what we can loot here, but I guess we can just go about and see what other chests they are just so we can clear them out real quick. I forgot how scary these are. <laughs> 
I don't think we looted this one, but it doesn't have that good of stuff anyways, but we might as well clean that up. So I think we looted most of this ancient city. Hang on a second. When was this here? Wait, how did I miss this one? Was this here from the beginning? Huh, okay. Strange. Well, I think I missed out a structure when we were here in episode 3. So... Actually, I can just climb on top of the stalactite. And... We'll see whatever's up here. Yes, there is a chest. Alright. Um, uh, Just typical loot. Wait. What? Um, No. No. Wait. No, that cannot be real. That cannot be real. Hang on a minute. Did I miss out this chest when we were here in episode 3? Uh, can people confirm with me whether this is the rarest armor trim in the game? We also got this fragments. We got a whole bunch of coal, which is gonna be really good. But, silence. Damn, right off the bat, we already found silence. Oh, and a very good hole, by the way. Quite surprising, not gonna lie. Do we deserve to take this? I guess we sort of do. Well, I guess we found our first armor trim. And it is silence. Huh. Interesting. I guess Trails and Tales is going pretty well so far, but I guess we'll put it in with all the other treasures that we have so far. We might as well take the chest as well, just in case. Right, but here's the thing. Are there any other chests around here that, you know, maybe we missed out in episode 3? Because I'm pretty sure we looted this one. Yeah, we already looted this one for sure. That is very strange. Alright, um, well, that is very weird. Well, I'd say that's pretty impressive. Now, let's see whether we can find any sort of archaeological dig site. Trying to get some good height just so we can see what's around here let's just jump down to this bamboo forest and this sparse jungle doesn't seem to be anything about here but I guess since we're here I guess I can show you guys what the bamboo wood looks like do we have a crafting table? We do have a crafting table. Let's just put the harmony orb back in. We do have blocks of bamboo. Let's make some planks and we can turn this into a raft. Yes. So we can place the raft down. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> right. Let's raft down the river. Woo. Oh, this is fun. This is absolute fun. You know what, since we have the raft, why not we use it to its fullest extent and we'll try and find something out there. I guess it'd be pretty fun. Let's try it, shall we? Now these are some ruins and I hope there'd be some suspicious sand somewhere about here. And we currently don't have our brush so give me a second. We're gonna switch, we're gonna put this down, we're gonna grab our brush, we're gonna collect that and we're gonna fight off these drowns. So let's go to war. Haha. -ha. And as you can see right there, we have some suspicious sand right there. Right, let's uh, let's get this underway, shall we? Oh, uh, our first is just a bit of coal. Okay, that's fine. Archaeology is not meant to always produce treasures. What do we get? 
What do we get? We get a nugget. Okay, that's fine. What do we have in here? Some coal? Okay. What's this? <gasps> Is that? We got our first pottery shard. Wait. The angler pottery shard. Shard. Sorry. It's called a shard. We got our first pottery shard. That's pretty cool. Do we have to dig up the... Oh dear. We got another pottery shard. And it's angler as well. Okay. Is there any more around here? There is. What do we have in here? We got another hole. This time it's another wooden hoe. We got two wooden hoes, the most valuable of any archaeological discovery. It's a pottery shirt. Which one is this? Oh, this one's a different one. We have shelter. Oh, okay. That's that's pretty cool. And I guess we shall be on our merry way. Where is our raft? Right here. Where shall we go? We're just going to row right next to the banks of the lands right here. Just so we do not trigger any of the mobs that would want to kill us at night. Well, I guess we came across another mangrove swamp. Which in and of itself, it's pretty cool. Do you mind? Look, I know I just looted your homes, but... At least, let me know. Sheesh. Maybe we'll- Oh! Hello! <laughs> Gotta be careful there. <laughs> Trying to see if we can find also a desert pyramid because that would be very helpful as well. <gasps> Wait, no, that's it right there. No, don't ruin this moment. I finally have an egg. Yes. We finally have a sniffer egg. Yes. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We actually just found a sniffer egg. That is pretty cool. This is our first sniffer in the world. Oh, that's a, that's a really messed up village right there. Hang on. Now, I don't remember villages being like this, but, uh, oh, this is, this is definitely disheartening, uh, seeing a village abandoned like this. Oh, look, it's a baby. I'm sorry, little one. I think I spoke a little too soon because we might have encountered a... Oh, this looks promising. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. We found ourselves a trail ruins here in this old growth tiger biome. So I guess we got nothing else to do, but let's set up camp for an archaeologist. So right now I have pitched this tent right in front of where we found the remains of a trail ruin right here and I've taken the liberty of clearing out all the water right next to this trail ruin just because we want to make it easier and water seems to be very finicky when it comes to digging around a site and so I removed all the water here 
and so we have a nice little campsite for us to relax in whenever we need to. Now inside the tent, I've decorated it somewhat with some chests, some, some other utility blocks, and I also have a few bookshelves right here, but in here, in this little space, I want to test something real quick. If we craft up a bunch of slabs and also a bunch of planks. Now if we put these planks like a bookshelf and put these slabs in the middle, there we go. We have a chiseled bookshelf. So we can put that in there like that. And so if we have any book like our adventure journal, we can just put it in there and we can take it out whenever. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Now before I dig up this archaeological trail ruins, I probably do not want to use the shovel. At the risk of destroying any suspicious gravel or suspicious sand, efficiency 5 might be a little bit too fast. We can craft ourselves a nice diamond shovel. Oh wait, hang on a minute. I just realized something. I don't think we can turn this into a netherite shovel. Unfortunately, we need that netherite upgrade kit in order to promote this from diamond to netherite. Oh, that's a bummer. I guess we'll just be very, very careful while digging up this archaeological dig site. Now, enough talk. Let's uncover the secrets of this trail ruin. So we're gonna have to be very careful in how we dig this place up. Right, so we have two pieces of suspicious gravel right here. I guess we can brush it up. What do we get? We get a candle. Okay, not bad. What do we got in here? Some purple glass. Some magenta stained glass. Shout out to Archeo Place. Glass turns purple. Woo! What do we get? A wooden hoe. Yes, the best of all treasures. Oh dear, I accidentally broke one again. We get another pottery shirt. What's this one? How? Ooh, interesting. What did we get? What's that? A lead. Okay. We're starting to see a little bit more terracotta around here, which probably means that it goes out in this direction. Rush. What do we get? What do we get? We got another wooden hoe. Yes. Let's just brush it. What do we get? We get another lead. I guess they had horses here. A crafting table. I guess this used to be someone's home. Oh, there's a whole other room in here. Hang on. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. We get another pottery shirt. And this one's Howl as well. Okay. I do plan on collecting all of the pottery shirts if I can, so this proves to be another challenge. Burn! There we go, we got another pottery shirt. Oh man! Wait! There's a hanging sign! Ooh! Okay, we got a candle. Wait, is that? It's a music disc. Oh, it's the new music disc. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> that's perfect. We got another pottery shirt. I guess this is Howl as well. Danger pottery shirt. Hey, there's a creeper. <laughs> what do we get? Another wooden hoe. Yes. Uh, 
Another pottery shirt. I guess that's friend as well. Yep, that is friend. Oh wait, before any of that, there is one thing that you can do with these. If I recall correctly, I might have brought some... Yep, I brought some cobwebs. So I heard on the grapevine that if you place two cobwebs like this and then you drop a suspicious gravel, let's see what's in here first. Is that... No, that's a flower pot. Okay, that's fine. If we drop that down here and we let this levitate for about 30 seconds, we should be able to get the suspicious gravel in block form. Should be any moment now. There we go. We have suspicious gravel in block form. Wait, is that? Smithing template host armor trim. Ooh, okay, we got another armor trim. Wait, we get another armor trim? Razor. Okay, so we got two out of the four. I believe there's four armor trims in a trail ruin, so we'll take it much slower. We got another candle. We got another armor trim. Hello. Nope, that's just razor. Okay. What's in here? Another armor trim? We got Wayfinder. Okay, now we have three of them. Well, I guess we know what this home is used for. We have a grindstone. Got another smithing template. Host. Okay. So the initial uncovering of these trail ruins have yielded us quite a lot of mysteries around here. And if we hop on up here you will get to see the riches that are in store for what we have collected so far. As you can see from here, we got a whole bunch of different things and tidbits. Although we should separate all the sherds and the music disc from the rest of the other items. Because the rest of the other items, while they may not benefit us currently, they are pretty cool as some weird knickknacks or artifacts or some such. Maybe we could get an idea of what they would be doing here. Also, we have a block of suspicious gravel because we'll probably keep that in like a museum or something. That is a pretty good haul of little tidbits of this trail ruin right here. So I'd say a pretty good job for the curious adventurer that we are, and a fairly decent archaeologist at it. But for now, I don't think we can see any other buildings unless we dig into the ground, so I'm gonna spend the next hour or so just excavating this entire site, and I'll meet back with you if I find anything good. So walking to our portal to home, I don't think there's anywhere else that we can explore around our Season 1 area, where there would be any sort of ruins, but I think there would be more to explore near our mega base, so I guess we will travel there right now. Oh, that was actually smoother than I remembered it to be. Now, it is to my knowledge that you can actually duplicate these armor trims. So, if we grab... Do we have any deep slate? We do. A little bit, but I think it might need cobble deep slate.
And to my knowledge, I think we'll also need some diamonds. So luckily I have some in reserve. And I think I'm able to duplicate this. I think it's like that and then like that. Okay, no, it's not like that. Ah, okay, so that's how you do it. So can we, how many times can we do this? It requires seven diamonds in order to duplicate it. That is going to be really expensive. But once you got one, you can just duplicate them however you want. So right there, it already used up about 21 diamonds, which is really expensive. But considering the fact that you can duplicate how many of these armatrons once you find one, I think that's a pretty fair trade-off. For now, one artifact that you cannot duplicate, Sniffer Eggs. Unfortunately, with just one Sniffer Egg, we can't bring back the population of Sniffers. And that's honestly the most troubling thing about Sniffers. You will see this patch of land right here. I was planning to turn this piece of land into a Sniffer Sanctuary as you like. And so Sniffers can just go about their day just waddling around, doing what Sniffers do, dig up some seeds, and this whole area will probably be a sniffer sanctuary and a place where sniffers can roam. And unfortunately, I can't really bring back the population of sniffers with just one sniffer egg. So I'm going to have to go out there and look for more warm ocean ruins. Luckily, oh, hello Mushroom. Do you like the sniffer egg I have? She's really excited. <laughs> She's really excited for the sniffer population to be back. But luckily, I think to the south, there is a warm ocean biome that we can possibly find some more sniffer eggs. We got our sniffer egg, so let's head down south and see if we can find some more warm ocean ruins. Oh, ocean monuments. We probably also got to kill some guardians in order to get the ocean monument armor trim. So that's definitely on our radar as well. So we are here in the warm ocean biome and there's an azalea tree just popped out in the water. That's actually quite beautiful actually. Is anyone here? I'm looking for some suspicious sand and some sniffers. Do you know where sniffers are? Let's go. What do we get? We get some wheat. Okay, that's fine. No, we get a wooden hoe, the most precious of any treasure. Yes! There we go! We got another sniffer egg! We got two! We can finally bring back the population of sniffers! Yes! Right, is there any more suspicious sand? There is. What's in here? No way! Another sniffer egg! We got three now! Alright, that's pretty cool. We got another sniffer egg! And that makes four. Right, now after all that, let's swim to the surface! Dolphin's Grace! Oof. Oh, that. <laughs> Dolphin's Grace. So I was indeed correct that Snort is one of the new ones that we found so far. So right now that leaves us with nine. So right now that leaves us with nine pottery shirts that we have found so far in our journeys. We found one silence armor trim, but we duplicated into three more. And now we have four sniffer eggs. Really cool. And there's a shipwreck over there, which we will see if they have the armor trim that I'm looking for. No. There's the chest. There it is. Coast armor trim. We finally have that. A lot of poisonous potatoes though. Those potatoes have been in there for quite some time. And we have more of these coast armor trims. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the buried treasure map seems to want us to go back north, which quite honestly, I don't mind going, but quite honestly, since we're already near a desert biome, we should probably go out there and try and find a desert temple. So we'll leave the treasure hunting for another day. Let's just head down to the water and let's just propel ourselves. This is so fun. <laughs> well, after trekking through the desert for quite a long time, I think I spotted the top of what could be the tower of a desert pyramid. And I do believe that it is buried, yep, it is buried right into 
the land here. So that's pretty cool in and of itself. And this should be... Yes, this is the opening for the pyramid itself. We are just going to set up a little camp site right here. Now, there's one more thing that I want to test now that we have one more of these. When we take... Let's say... We take four of... How does this work? So if we arrange that into that, we get a pot, we get careful restoration. And we... Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And they're actually pretty big. These pots are actually massive. If we punch it... Okay, if we punch it, we get the pot back. How about if we want it... Okay, Silk Touch also does it. Do I just... There we go. Okay, so if we mine it without any sort of Silk Touch or not our hands, then we get all the shirts back. Pretty cool. Let's grab a brown banner. I'm not sure if I have a... have an anvil. I do. So that's the pyramid site. Alright, now there is a bit of suspicious sand here, so let's start brushing. Some gunpowder. We got a pottery shirt. What's it gonna be? Archer. Alright, so that's a new one. We haven't got that one yet. Okay, so I think we can sacrifice the one with the TNT in it. So give me a second. We did it! Yes! I think we did it. Yep, we got Suspicious Sand in block form. Yes! So we can add that to the archive as well. Well, that was pretty eventful. Now all we got to do is just brush up the remaining Suspicious Sand and we also got to loot the pyramid itself. So we managed to get three more pottery shirts to our collection. Arms Up, Archer, and Miner, all in the desert biome, which is pretty cool. And we also have a suspicious sand to go alongside our suspicious gravel. Now the family's together. I'm probably just gonna leave the anvil here because this is another campsite. But other than that, I'm gonna grab my bed. I'm gonna grab another ender chest so I can leave this one here. And we shall continue on our adventure, but we will definitely come back in order to restore and uncover this desert pyramid. So we shall bid this desert pyramid farewell. And until next time, we will see each other again. Ta-da! Oh look, there's a village. Perfect. What a view these villagers have. Look at the hills and the mountains that they have. Hey you. No. You do not get... You are not invited. Oh hello villagers. You guys are getting together for your evening meeting. Wait. What? Don't go... What are you talking about? Wait, what are you talking about? Don't go northeast. But... But that's... But that's home. Wait, why? Don't go northeast. Just don't? I mean... Okay, what's wrong with northeast? Okay... Um... You know what? Alright, so don't panic. Does any, does everyone know this? Something bad happened? Okay, don't worry. I know what to do, so just stay calm. I'm sure I'll be I'm sure everything will be fine. Alright? I'm sure everything will be fine. Well that was kind of weird. Don't go northeast. But Northeast is our home. I'm sure the villagers wouldn't mind if I just borrowed their bed for the night. I did make sure to tell that villager that everything will be fine, so Northeast. I wonder what's there in Northeast. I guess there's only one way to find out.
So I traveled a thousand blocks down this river and everything seems to still be in check. Nothing seems to be out of place, nothing seems to be wacky or goofy or, you know, suspicious. So I don't think there's anything quite wrong with this place, honestly. I mean, I know villagers love to exaggerate here and there and make everything seem like it's a whole big ordeal, but quite honestly, we've been through a lot more than the normal villagers. I mean, no offense to Chester. Chester's pretty brave and all. But yeah, nothing seems to be out of place. Nothing seems to be suspicious or anything. Excuse me, doggy. Do you have any idea what's out of place here in the Northeast? Nothing? Oh, okay. But yeah, all the trees are still here, the grass is still green, the water is still blue, you know, nothing seems to be out of place for the moment. Um... Hello? What the... What is... I guess they weren't kidding after all. Hang on a minute. Um... Um... Hello? What is this place? What is going on here? What... What is... What is that? Why is it growing out of the ground? And... More importantly, what happened here? I don't remember this being here in the first place. Hello? Is anyone in here? Oh, this place is ruined beyond belief. Wow, um, but uh, this is a throne room of some sort or a church? Definitely looks really grand from the look of things. It doesn't seem to be anything at the back. But what is this stuff? Why are... What's with all the petrified tentacles and stuff, but more importantly, what happened here? Excuse me, sheep, do you have any idea what's going on around here? Blood sheep. Yep. You're a blood sheep too. What? What's a... What's a blood sheep? 